Hey folks, PC Outcast here, and uh, today we're taking a look at a minimalist Factorio-inspired game called Shapes.io. Now, the game can be played at Shapes.io in your browser for free, or you can buy it on Steam for about four bucks. It's made by Tobias Springer and uh, is really pretty cool. It um, doesn't have a ton, well, I'm saying it doesn't have a ton of content. I think it took me about 40 hours of gameplay to get to level 19, um, which is the max, pretty much the max. Like I've, I've unlocked everything. Um, and we'll take a look at that in a second, but I'll show you how the game looks from, uh, from start. Uh, he's also coming up with, he's working on a massive update that's going to add like electricity and things. So it should be pretty cool. The tutorial's pretty, um, you know, walks you through pretty, pretty well in the beginning. Shows you, uh, you use your extractor here. You're going to come over here. So this is your hub and you have to uh, deliver various shapes to this. So we're starting out with the, uh, basically a circle. And we're going to put these down like this and connect them with conveyor belts. Oops. And then you deliver 40 of those and uh, we will unlock the next level. There's lots of options. You can go in uh, settings here and lots and lots of stuff. So you can, uh, you can have different sized interfaces. You can be full screen or not. You can mute sounds and music. I've got the music muted because uh, after listening to it for about 10 hours, I got tired of the looping sounds. It's the music is nice, actually. You know, pretty nice. But you know, as, as is the case with uh, most of these games, there's just, the playlist isn't that big. There's a um, colorblind mode. Uh, you can turn hints on and off. You can do a uh, dark theme, which is really nice as well. I don't like dark themes personally. Uh, autosave and zoom sensitivity, movement speed, all kinds of good stuff in there. And then you can also do um, all change all the key binds and stuff as well. Lots of, lots of options. Really nicely done. The map, as far as I can tell, is unlimited or thereabouts. There we go. Level one unlocked. You've unlocked the cutter. It cuts shapes half from top to bottom, regardless of its orientation. Be sure to get rid of the waste or otherwise it will stall. For this, you, for this purpose, I give you a trash, which destroys everything you put into it. Nice. So yeah, I mean the map is absolutely massive and you can see you get all kinds of different shapes like this one. You also get colors. Eventually you can mix colors to make other colors. So that's really cool. And when you want to get back to your hub, you can just click on that and hop back there. So we need halves here. So let's, uh, let's rotate, maybe do, maybe do it like that. Now we've unlocked the cutter. We're gonna connect this and we're gonna end up with two halves. Very, very slowly, there we go. So we want uh, this side, so we're gonna be tossing that away. Let's maybe put another one in here. Whoops. You can connect them like that, but sometimes there's a problem if you connect a machine directly to another machine, occasionally it, uh, the whole thing just stalls. And I'll throw another one in here, I guess. And you can also hold shift down and drag. And you can press R to flip the uh, orientation of the belt. That helps a little bit. Oops, there we go. There we go. So we're delivering all of those to there. Hopefully uh, that's also 40. Let's maybe make another one. It's going to be a bit messy, but. There we 
here we go. And you don't want to destroy old stuff because you're going to need these pieces to unlock uh, faster belts, faster extractors, faster cutters, etc. This level will give you no reward, but the next one will. P.S. Better don't destroy your existing factory. You need all those shapes later, again later, to unlock upgrades. That's not necessarily true, but um, there's a few shapes that you make that don't actually unlock anything. So here you go. Faster belts increases speed one to two times. Got that. Now we're going to need uh, squares. We're also going to need these stars, and we're going to have to start painting half squares but we currently don't have that technology the next one is a splitter merger which is going to help to clean some of this up so let's do this should be a little bit quicker because we have faster belts now whoops But now we have to deliver a hundred of them. So, and then you can go on here. So you see, you need uh, three hundred and sixty circles and uh, one point two thousand, one point two k um, half circles like that. Now we could. I don't think we actually need this shape again. But we don't have rotators, which is too bad. Eventually, uh, you unlock rotators, and then so we can flip these over and just be delivering those and be getting that. I don't think that you need this shape again. I'm not 100% sure. It's been a while since I started the game. The multifunctional balancer has been unlocked. It can be used to build bigger factories by splitting and merging items into multiple onto multiple belts. So uh, one nice feature of that is you can sort of, you know, merge these things together so they don't take up so much space. Bring this into here and we can get rid of this one. Merge these together, get rid of that one. Oops. And, uh, same thing there. And then they'll all go on to one belt, which is kind of nice. Yeah, next thing is rotating. So, let's see. Um, I guess I should finish cleaning this stuff up. Um, no, actually, you know what? I should do this the other way around. Put that there, get rid of that. That there, and that there. Yeah, they're all going on to that one. A little bit cleaner, opens up some more um, slots for delivering stuff. Same thing should do here, but I think I should actually move these. Move them completely away from there. Those. And merge. Um, that, that, and that. There we go. Got all those going in there. And now we also want to split. I'm wondering if it might have been a better idea to put them down here. Hmm. Do that. And we want to split. They're going to split vertically. Right, so we want to get rid of this side. And this isn't really going to work, is it? Did four over there, but it took a lot of space up. I guess I can uh, extend it out. 
Do this. It works. Takes up a lot of space, but we have nearly unlimited space anyway, so. All right, and rotate, rip, whip that around. There you go, and we got that. And we also unlocked extraction, faster extraction speed. So now the stuff's coming out of here quicker. And there you go. And we'll soon unlock rotating. Now, I won't uh, spoil any more of the game, but that is basically how it goes. Gets more and more complicated, opens up more options. Soon we'll get rotating, we'll be able to split, uh, spin these around and start delivering uh, these parts to unlock faster belts and so on okay so that's basically how the game goes and it goes uh, gets higher and higher level and so on so we'll go back to the main menu and i'll show you my uh my completed level here we go we've got the the massive speed going on with the huge sprawling factory going on here right and uh, as you can see right here we got a very very complicated shape so this is after you've unlocked the final uh shape which is this one um is there a better way to look at this this is that's all unlimited that's that shape right there if i stop this there you go this is sort of the um the uh the, fi the final shape for unlocking things. So that, that shape unlocks all the tier 7 belts, extractors, cutters, and mixing and painting and stuff. And I'll show you how I make that, but I'm going to wait until the very end of the video, just in case you don't want to be spoiled. But if you do want to learn how to make that, then just hang on to the end. So um, yeah, so once you unlock that piece, then after that all the pieces are randomly generated and so you can continue playing the game and trying to figure out how to make these different crazy shapes and stuff otherwise that's basically the end of the of the game and like i said it, it took me around about uh between 35 and 40 hours i think of gameplay to get that uh so there's quite a bit of content actually for a four dollar game and um there is more content coming so uh if you already have the game you don't have to pay more but when the new uh, update comes out i think the price is going up a dollar or two all right i think that's about it if you have any questions just post them in the uh in the comment section now if you do not want to be spoiled on how to make that shape i suggest you uh you log out you uh and the and and the the uh, video right now but don't forget to click like if you liked it all right so we're going to go into how to make this crazy shape and here is how you do it first of all you got to mix green yellow and blue together to make white paint so here's my uh, my painters or my mixers they mix for example this one mixes no, this one down here mixes blue and blue and red to make purple and then this one adds in the green to make white. You can see how I have that laid out. Here's the actual painters. Now there are other painters unlocked. I have um, the double painters which paint two shapes the same color and quad painters which I haven't actually used. Uh, they will paint one shape They'll, they'll paint each if you're if if the shape is a full a full piece like this like the has all four um corners i guess of the uh, or all, all four quarters of the circle it'll paint each quarter a different color uh like depending on where you have the how you have the colors coming in so that's pretty cool but uh would probably be really useful for some of the more difficult shapes and things so then you have that coming over there. Over here I have um, I have the circles coming through to both of these machines to be painted. 
and over here we have them being made into that crazy shape. So I think the easiest will probably be to look at, say, this one. So these are all repeats. This is one, this is another one, this is another one. Each one of these are just repeats, and this this is uh, using basically the maximum that I can, I can fit of the uh, circles and the squares is being cut across all these five. We're gonna look at these. So first of all, you got, I guess we'll look at the circles first. You got the white circles coming in. They're being split into all four quarters. This piece is being thrown away. These two pieces are being merged to make that, um, that, you know, the two pie shapes on either side of white. And this piece gets rotated and then goes under to merge with one of the square pieces to make the um, right hand side of the the ultimate the final shape. Uh, on here, yeah, you got the square being split into two. This side is being rotated and then cut again. This side gets thrown away, and that side is the piece that comes down and merges with that to make that side. Up here, we got the um, other half of the circle is also being rotated counterclockwise, or sorry, the other side of the square is also being rotated counterclockwise and mer being stamped on top of this piece to make that funky piece. That's how you get that smaller square. And other, if you don't do it like, like that, I haven't been able to find another way to do it. But basically stamp that on top of that, that's how you get that piece. And then you split it again to throw away this unnecessary bit. And that leaves you with this half and you merge them into the final part. And there you go. And then you can't really see the final part very easily, but there you go. <laughs> All right, I hope that was helpful, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, look at shapes.io. If you don't want to buy it, you can check it out, uh, play it for free in your browser, in shapes.io. Uh, and um, otherwise, you can buy it on Steam. I got the key for free, so you probably shouldn't believe a single thing I said in this entire video because I'm totally biased. <laughs> Uh, and if you believe that, uh, I don't know what to say. So thank you very much for joining me for this little look at shapes. And thank you Tobias Springer for the free key that he sent me to do a review. Thanks for joining me, guys. We'll see you in another video.